Tell us about Lords of the Moon. Whoa, you don't want to hear a very long story. Do you? Oh, yes, we do. <laughs> um, when I was a very little girl, I went to stay with a cousin in my family in, 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 around San Diego, and I got to sleep in the cousin's room, and they had windows that reflected the moonlight on the window frames. And I looked out and I saw the moon, and I, saw, I, I never forgot that sight. It was so magical. I'd never seen moonlight come raging in the window and making everything magic, and it, it, I just never forgot it. So later on, um, this was only this many years ago, right? The, I thought about that window, and I thought about that moon, and I thought, you know, it felt like a whole march of white ho horses. I thought the moonbeam looked like huge white horses. And so then there was a little boy that approached who wanted to be in um, the painting. And um, so I went to his house. I told his mom, I have this idea. I want him to be asleep on his bed. And I want the, the, all the horses and all the lords to come down from the moon to make his life full for the rest of his life, to bless him with the gifts of wisdom and magic and, and valor and everything. And um, I said, I have to have like castles. And she says, well, his dad is Sammy Hagar and he has been taken to uh, the concerts at Sammy's given in castles, and he had been given far too expensive oil paintings of beautiful castles in his bedroom. This is funny that he had all that, right? And then I, I asked all my friends to come over, and I went to the costume shop where I was friends, and they set me up with about 30 costumes that I brought home, and everyone fit everyone I wanted to as though they'd been sewn for them. And then we all got together in the, um, and had a little dinner party in costume, and everyone was allowed to give the little boy one gift for his life. So they each chose the gifts, and there's one gal who was on a, a TV series um, who was up on the windowsill who wanted to give him a heart with wings. And the little girl wanted to give him a rose, and another one wanted to be the jester. And all of the friends offered him things. One dressed as a wizard wanted to give him the gift of wisdom. So um, the painting came about magically in every which way and actually suggests to us that there's nowhere that magic is not. And magic is the love and spirit that's all around us all the time. The You actually had a dinner party. Yeah. And with everybody in costume. Yes. All those people came. So we see, those are the people we see there. Yes. So the little boy... Uh, why was he so blessed? Oh, well, that little boy um, had been reading, you know. He wanted to be, he wanted to be pure and sincere and true. And he had been reading all about astrology and astronomy and, and, and uh, being um, a, a warrior, you know, a wizard. And all of that was in his heart and soul and consequently the lords from the moon saw his heart was pure and decided to come down and give him the gifts for the rest of his life because he could use them well. Because he was on a quest. He was on a quest. Right, and so those were the gifts that came down. Great story. So, are you in the painting? <laughs> well, of course, because I needed to make the castle come to life and I decided I wanted to be Baryshnikov. So if you see the uh, the dancer throwing gold dust on the castle yes it's it's i <laughs> how do you paint yourself oh well you use a very fine brush and you paint exactly what you wish you looked like and are you looking at a mirror is my point or are you uh, looking no, at a mirror while you paint because you in this case you're painting your energy and your and the love in your heart so now nah, you don't need to go for the proper chin bone i see you're painting the essence more than anything Absolutely. else. Absolutely. Great story. <laughs>